Top Nigerian comedians joined a 10-man cast of the Nigerian adaptation of the popular Last One Laughing format for his Lagos premiere over the weekend, hosted by Basket Mouth. The six-part series housed 10 comedians in a space and eliminates accordingly any comedian that laughs at the antics or jokes of his colleagues. The star studded premiere attracted comedians from their various formats the jo and genres, including stand-up comedy, skit makers and screen actors. Details in this next report. Take a look. It is a big day for the Nigerian comic industry and the comedians are in high spirit. It is premiere day for the well-anticipated Nigeria adaptation of the international comedy format Last One Laugh and host Basket Mouth can't wait to show the world what has been created. Ten comedians, one task. No. The format houses ten comedians in a space and evicts the ones who couldn't resist the jokes and antics of the other contestants until a winner emerges. Last one, last Niger. Last first, carry last. With the Nigerian music buzzing with Afrobeat and Nollywood also covering grounds with the global movie space, Nigerian comedians believe this is their big shopper window to a global audience on the shoulder of the prime video platform. This might be the next big thing after Afrobeat. Do you understand? This might be the next big thing after Afrobeat. If it's, I, it was done perfectly, I believe. I was. I think I can score it a hundred. You know, because it was well thought out, well done. Great, great team. Um, and it's it's it's. So the thing is, most times, what one thing that the Nigerian comedians seem to lack, like. We don't have comedy clubs in Nigeria like they do in, in, in the States. Like if you go to wherever, to, to America, you see um, maybe is it the Improv or Laugh Factory. In every state in Nigeria, nothing. It's just makeshift comedy club where there's a beer a bar or whatever. And they just shift it, they move it to become a comedy club. That's not how it's supposed to be done. Now, comedians, they don't have a place where they can rehearse their material. If you read deep and into the industry in, 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 the North, in North America, you see that someone like Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, before they go on tour, they go to comedy clubs and test out the material, sharpen the material, take out some things. In Nigeria, we don't have that. When a comedian wants to do a gig, it's from your home, your, your friends, wherever, wherever you're trying out your material, down to stage. You know, we don't have all that. We don't have the, the right tools to help the art. This is a big one for us, and this is, this is dope, man. You need to watch the show. The way I look at it is, you know, the Nigerian, I've, I've been in the Nigerian comedy scene for 30 years. This year will be 30 years. Started professionally in 1993. Seen it metamorphose from no industry to an industry, to now we have skit makers and all manner of people in, in the comedy space. So for Prime to bring this big platform you know, to add to what we already have. I see it as a blessing because what it means is that we're beginning to get some level of international recognition that we deserve. We've put in so much work. If you if you look at our collective views on YouTube and all the other platforms, you know that Nigerian comedy has come to stay. <laughs> the cast cut across the different genres of comedy and this includes stand-up comedian O.K. Bakasi, Senator I Go Save, a cappella, skit makers Tahoma, Sabinus, That Worry Girl, and screen actors Kiki and Bucci. Sharing the space with some of the funniest names in Nigerian comic industry and trying not to laugh became the other of the day. I was, I mean like, to be very candid with you, I said to myself at some point, anytime you go, you go leave the show. You can't stop me from laughing because I mean, that's the business. And then being a jolly good fellow, uh, I was, I wasn't, it wasn't a uh, do or die for me. It was like, whenever it comes, it comes. Because I can't stop laughing. You see, um, that's worry girl. She has one wig that is annoying. She does not have to say anything. Even on Instagram, the very moment she has that wig on, it's game over for me. So the moment I saw that she had got to wear that wig, money, God damn it. Who told this girl to bring this wig to this program? That was like the first breaker for me. But because I know that 40 million naira is on the line, this is how I'm looking at the wig. Who broke me on the show, when you eventually watch the show, is somebody that is not even in the house. And my final break on the show, I caused it. 
and when you see it, you're like thinking, why did you do that? I did, but it was it was incredible. It was exciting. You know, the adren the adrenaline rush. You know, throughout the show, I found it really really exciting. LOL Niger also brings back industry pioneer Tony Ereku, popularly known as Gandoki. I'm the last person to contact. The last person, yeah, because they were asked. Because when they came, they were looking through social media, your followers. Yes. So they pick the people that have the highest followers and the rest. So asking them questions, because you will not know it's coming. They'll call you one on one, one on one, one on one. But when they're asking them questions, who can make you laugh? Everybody just Gandoki. Gandoki. <laughs> LOL Ninja is a format for the global streaming giant Prime Video and has been successful in many other climes, including Canada, Japan and Australia. The platform believes the Nigerian content space over the years have shown the readiness of its players to move into the global league. Uh, I remember one of our first meetings with Basketmouth when we were talking about what would be the best thing we could do to really show the best of Nigerian com comedy and give Nigerian comedians the global platform that they deserve. And we talked about LOL Last One Laughing, a show from Japan originally that's been remade in France, been remade in Germany. Now we're making it here in Nigeria for the first time. Entertainment for Nigeria has gone globally already. So we've been ready since. I don't think it's because oh, we've been ready since, but we didn't have you know, people who are taking it seriously, maybe trying to do some things differently, take it to the world. So. The last member of the cast will get to win 40 million naira, money that can't be kept but must be donated to any charity of his or her choice.